As a gamer, it's incredibly easy to take things for granted. AAA games generally have a baseline level of polish that allows us to forget the thousands of man hours that go into crafting even the most rudimentary elements of a video game. And while it of course makes sense to commit major resources to the building blocks of any game, sometimes developers end up investing frankly absurd amounts of time, energy and effort into details which might go totally unseen by the vast majority of players. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 video games that put insane work into tiny details. Number 10. Sinks that have full plumbing modelled underneath, in case you shoot them. The Division 2. Destructible environments have been a major technical gaming breakthrough over the last 20 years, with games like Red Faction ushering in the ability for players to wreck a large portion of the surrounding scenery with their arsenal of weaponry. But generally speaking, the destruction is usually fairly superficial, because just how much attention are most players going to really pay to the wreckage left behind? Well, Ubisoft took things to the next level with The Division 2, whereby players could shoot ceramic sinks and peer into the photo-real plumbing that had been lovingly modelled underneath. The bafflingly meticulous detail was discovered by Redditor Tony Alexander, confirming just how much effort the developers put into making the destructible environments as tactile and authentic as possible. Considering 99.8% of players have never even noticed this, it's both impressive and maddening that an artist clearly spent a ton of time creating these absurdly realistic plumbing models. Number 9. Every raindrop is an individual asset. Drive Club. PS4 racer Drive Club may have had a rough launch, but there was little denying the game's stunning visual presentation, particularly its ludicrously realistic looking weather effects. Shortly after launch, Evolution Studios patched in a dynamic weather system, which touted one especially mind blowing feature that every single raindrop was effectively its own asset and individually subject to the very real laws of physics. The rain doesn't simply fall to the ground or your car in linear fashion, but moves and flows through the sky according to both wind conditions and the speed of the car. It's details like this which have allowed Drive Club to remain one of the most visually impressive racing games on the market, despite releasing seven years ago and facing stiff competition from the Forza franchise above all else. Number 8. The Solar System is Accurate for 2185 – Mass Effect 2 As much as Mass Effect 2 might offer up a speculative, fantastical view of the future, its 2185 setting is actually rooted in a greater sense of physical realism than you'd probably think. The game's beautiful map of the Solar System is an almost note-perfect representation of how the planets will be arranged in 2185. Redditor Sergeant Lipton35 compared the game's map with a scientifically accurate simulation, and it was basically spot on. Except that is for the game's incorrect placement of Pluto. Though given its famously erratic orbit makes it incredibly difficult to guess where it will be in the future with any real accuracy, it's a forgivable gaff. Even with many Mass Effect fans considering themselves space buffs and science nerds, it's laudable for Bioware to do so much homework to back up their mesmerizing vision of the future. Number 7. Ice cubes actually melt in the tanker bar. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Hideo Kojima loves to include ridiculous details in his video games, and many are sure to be missed by all but the most attentive and obsessive of players. And perhaps the most impressively absurd detail in any one of his games appears in Metal Gear Solid 2. In the bar area of the tanker, you're able to shoot an ice bucket which will cause individual ice cubes to tumble out. Pretty cool for 2001, right? But it gets better. If you stick around and watch the ice cubes in first person view, you'll be able to witness them melt in real time, getting gradually smaller and smaller over the course of around a minute until they're nothing. It might seem trivial today, but 20 years ago this was a seriously impressive physics simulation, and yet one which the overwhelming majority of people would never have noticed. Number 6. The birds are modelled from real Oregonian birds. Life is strange. Life is Strange may take place in the fictional Oregonian town of Arcadia Bay, but the locale was heavily inspired by numerous real Oregon towns, namely Tillamook Bay, Garibaldi and Oceanside. 
The inspiration didn't end there though, as the team at Don't Nod also went to the extent of only including birds in the game which could be found in Oregon itself. Considering that only ornithologists would have ever called Don't Nod out, it's extremely impressive that they committed a clearly significant amount of research time to ensuring the avian wildlife was accurate to the region. And with so much of the game being a curated cinematic experience, there's perhaps less likelihood that players would stop to smell the roses and explore the environment. All that effort for such a minimal immersive return. Number 5. The Sky Has Realistic Light Pollution – Grand Theft Auto V It of course shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that a Rockstar game is overflowing with mind-boggling unnecessary technical details. Grand Theft Auto V is one of their most detail-rich titles to date, and with the game's online component continuing to receive strong support, it's little surprise that players are still discovering new details. In 2019, Redditor Vikanov noticed that San Andreas actually has a level of light pollution in major urban areas that's similar to that of the real Southern California it's based on. Basically, the further you venture away from the harshly lit urban sprawl into the rural hills, it becomes easier to observe the constellations in the night sky, just as is true in real life. Rockstar could easily have just slapped a skybox in their game and received no complaints, but they once again proved their over-the-odds commitment to the finest details. Number 4. Ants carry leaves up tree trunks – Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon Zero Dawn is undeniably one of the most visually impressive AAA games released over the last five years, and it's easy to get so caught up in the gorgeously fluid combat animations and enemy designs that you'd end up glossing over the small stuff. In this case, literally. Despite the gargantuan task of releasing their geologically diverse open world, Guerrilla Games also took the time to implement an ant patrol system. Stop by some of the larger trees around the game world and you'll see armies of leafcutter ants carrying leaves up and down trees. Better still, if you open up the game's photo mode, you can get an even closer look at the insects, which are indeed individually rendered entities in their own right. For a game with such a teeming vast world, to commit resources to such a minor piece of its ecosystem is absolutely flabbergasting, honestly. Number 3. On the highest difficulty, the Korean soldiers speak Korean – Crisis there's no denying that Crisis was an absolute technical landmark when it launched in 2007, touting groundbreaking graphical fidelity which left only the hardiest rigs capable of playing it at maxed out settings. But one of its most impressive features is one that was effectively gated off to most players. If you decided to play the game on its hardest difficulty level, Delta, you not only faced intense resistance from enemies, but the North Korean soldiers you encountered would actually speak Korean to one another. In all other difficulties, the soldiers would simply shout broken English at the player, but in Delta, they communicate in Korean, making it more difficult for the player to figure out their attack strategy from what they're saying. Given the obvious effort involved in scripting, translating, and voicing this extensive NPC chatter, it's crazy that the vast majority of players never even had the chance to experience it, given they may have avoided the Delta difficulty altogether. Number 2. Horses can choose from 3,000 movement animations – Red Dead Redemption 2 There's a fair argument to be made that Red Dead Redemption 2 is the most obsessively detail-rich video game ever made, and that's perhaps felt no better than through the lengths the developer took to ensure they delivered ultra-realistic horse companions. In a recent GDC talk, Rockstar North's lead AI game programmer detailed the shocking depths to the game's horse programming. The team started by filming real footage of horses in Scotland to use as a reference, after which they decided to create 3,000 individual movement animations, which the game could string together on the fly to reflect the horse's gait, speed, mood, and even the terrain it's traveling across. This allowed the game's horses to seem reactive in the way that a real horse is, including a self-preservation mechanic whereby the horse wouldn't willingly hurl itself into harm's way at your command. On top of this, each of the 19 breeds of horse in the game has their own temperament and personality type, and even their own poop cycle. Yep, it's a dizzying amount of work, and while the horses are certainly not a minor part of Red Dead Redemption 2 in and of themselves, the effort put into making them seem like living things is arguably incommensurate to its actual importance in the grand scheme of things. The excellence of the end result, though, speaks for itself. 
Number one, Mario's hair and mustache are rendered from individual hairs, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey was the first mainline Mario platformer released for the Nintendo Switch, and an unsurprisingly colossal critical and commercial hit upon release. It was clear once again that Nintendo had poured a ton of heart into this love letter to all things Mario, while also benefiting from the modest technical boost of the Switch's hardware. As a result, fans were treated to a more detailed Mario than ever before, including the divisive yet fascinating decision to render Mario's mustache and hair from individual hairs for the first time. While Mario's distinctive stash and hair were effectively textured blocks in the previous games, in Odyssey they were actually created from separate intermingled strands of hair. Though the game's photo mode certainly allowed fans to savor the extra fidelity of the new Mario model, this is still a tireless detail which will fly clear over the heads of most players, especially younger ones. Do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other video games that put insane work into tiny details. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter if you want, where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.